so big, so much to do and see. I'm a young prospect of prodigy. I can't succeed in being you. So you be you and I'll be me. I'll be me. Just like you, I'm gonna be me. Well, hello, friends. Nice of you to join us. My name is Cujo, and this is my workshop. I was just working on this drawing. It looks like we have a message from one of our special viewers. I wonder who it is. Cujo, today I was talking to an indigenous friend of mine, and she was telling me about residential schools and something called Orange Shirt Day. Do you know what that is? Thank you for your question, Kwaku. Let's try to figure this out together. Okay, friends, today we're gonna learn why we need to remember Orange Shirt Day. But first, we need to understand a couple of important words. The first being indigenous, residential schools, Orange Shirt Day, and lessons learned. Indigenous. Indigenous means first people or first nations. Elders tell us that indigenous people have been on the earth since the beginning of time and that indigenous people are very, very special. When people from other parts of the world started to move into Canada and the United States, they didn't like the indigenous people. They took away their land without permission. They also tried to change the indigenous people to be more like them. Residential school. For over 100 years, thousands of indigenous children in Canada and the United States were sent to schools far, far away from home to live and learn. They were taken from their mommies and daddies without permission, which made everyone around very scared and very sad. They were not allowed to see their parents or speak their own language. They could not wear their own clothing or celebrate their culture and religion. Some children even got very sick and some died while living in residential school. The people who did this thought by taking children away from their parents and sending them to school, they would somehow make their life better. They were wrong, it wasn't fair, and it wasn't right. Residential schools in Canada and the United States closed down many, many years ago, and that will never, ever happen to children again. Now indigenous children live with their families just like you. They go to school in their own communities and they safely share their language and culture. But they never forgot what happened and they want to help others remember that we are all one people and that we should treat everyone fairly and with love and respect. Orange shirt. A long time ago, before your parents were born, a little indigenous girl named Phyllis lived with her family in Canada. She was six years old. She was one of those children that were taken from her parents to attend residential school. Before she left, her granny gave her a present, a shiny orange shirt to wear to class. When she arrived, the teachers took away her orange shirt and she was given different clothes to wear. When she was finished her schooling, she asked for her orange shirt back, but the teachers had thrown it away. Many years later, as a grown up, Phyllis wanted to share her story. She wrote a book, The Orange Shirt Story, so that children and grown ups can understand what happened at residential school. 
Orange Shirt Day happens every year on September 30th in Canada. It was created to help people understand about residential schools and how they affected Indigenous First Nation children, their parents, and communities. If you notice, I'm wearing my special orange dashiki to give honor to Orange Shirt Day. Lessons learned. Lessons learned means talking about what we learn from an experience and how we can make things better. So what can we all do to make sure that every child, including you, is treated fairly and with love and respect? Well, you can wear an orange shirt to remember and honor the many children who survived being away from their families and those who did not. You can color an orange heart like I did and put special words or pictures to show you care. You can be kind to people you meet, no matter the color of their skin, what language they speak, the food they eat, and the culture they celebrate. If you see someone that is being bullied by another person because of how they look or sound, or someone is bullying you, you can stand up and say, that's not right. Tell a teacher or a grown-up you trust for help. Remember, every new person you meet may be a new friend. I would like to say a special thank you to Kwaku. What a great question. And also Ishni Ish, which means thank you to Tina Fox, an elder in residence in Stony Education on the Stony Nakoda Nation in Morley, Alberta. It's time for me to go, but looking forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Until then, I'm gonna ask you to be kind, be brave, and be curious. But most importantly, is to be yourself. Bye for now. If you like our videos, please click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. For more information about our show, please visit us at kujoskidzone.com. Bye for now. World so big, so much to do and see. I'm a young prospect of prodigy. I can't succeed in being you. So you be you and I'll be me. I'll be me. I just like you, I'm gonna be me. Just like you, I'm gonna be me.